Farming for all the banners in Terraria 1.4 can be an extremely daunting and time consuming process. In this video, I'm going to show you the most optimal method for how I managed to farm all the banners in the game, saving you the headache for going out your way and farming each enemy individually. Let's get into it. A large majority of Terraria's enemies can be farmed for in large numbers underground using a platform spawn like this. This method is especially good as it can be easily adapted to suit other biome needs. For example, by adding some jungle grass you can quickly farm everything in the underground jungle. The other thing which makes this method so effective is the sheer number of spawns it produces. In a perfect scenario, which features water candles, battle potions and multiple players in the farm, you can expect to see an average of around 50 spawns per minute. The trick to making this farm so efficient is by ensuring that no other enemies can spawn other than the ones you're focusing on. To do this, we need to clear out a massive area to make sure that enemies only spawn on the tiles we choose. This is where the Celebration Mark II comes in. Oh, and it's a good point in the video to mention that I would highly advise that you only grind for all the banners once you have completed the game. This is to make sure the construction is as painless and easy as possible. Assuming that you have your hands on the Celebration Mark II, I'd recommend using the Mini Nuke IIs as they have the largest blast radius. To acquire these, you need the fourth version of the rocket, which is sold from the Cyborg during a solar eclipse. To craft the Mini Nukes, use an Auto Hammer to combine the Rocket 4s with some Shroomite Bars. You shouldn't need much more than 300 Mini Nukes to clear a large enough space. With the area cleared, it's time to start working on the platform. Make sure the centre of the platform is in the middle of the area you just emptied. Using a non-corruptible block such as Grey Brick, build 110 tiles across in both directions. This maximises the amount of spawns which can happen outside your field of view. Next, at each far side of the platform, there is a 46 tile pillar. This stops enemies falling off and prevents flying enemies to hover under the platform. Do the same to the bottom. At this point, we want to build the compartment which the player will be spending their time in. This doesn't have to be a particular size, however make it large enough to house a range of items and a bunch of chests. Here is the one that I've built. Now this next step is a big one, but is completely optional and won't make or break the efficiency of the farm. By filling in every background wall of the area beneath the platform, you will guarantee that nothing will ever spawn in the wrong place. As this is a ridiculously time consuming step, even with the portable cement mixer, don't worry if you decide to miss this part out. Carrying on with the essentials, this next addition will increase the speed of the farm in nearly all conditions. To maximise the spawn rate, we need to create a jungle biome. What makes the jungle biome so special is the fact that it has a higher maximum spawn rate than most other biomes, and more importantly, it acts as a major biome which can overlap existing ones. Underneath the centre of the platform, build a 24x9 container and fill it in with lizard bricks. The spawning functionality of this farm is almost complete. However, I don't want you missing any rare banner drops. Use conveyor belts to channel items and coins towards the player's compartment. This picks up banners you earn with a full inventory. We're almost there. There's only one more optimization which will significantly improve the performance of the farm. It's getting rid of that pesky skeleton merchant. Him being in the area will limit spawns drastically, slowing your farm down to a halt. A quick and easy way to kill him is by using actuated blocks. This can be wired up any way you like, as long as both the conveyor and platform actuate at the same time and can be reached from the centre container. If you would like to see a video which explains other useful contraptions using actuators, let me know down below. With this, essentially the farm is finished. A few things worth mentioning before you start the grind is that there is a handful of enemies which have a unique spawn criteria and will not be farmable using this contraption, such as event and invasion enemies. Nevertheless, pretty much any biome related spawn can be quickly farmed for with this. This can be built in a dungeon to make short work of paladins, or conveniently have its stone swapped out for crimstone or ebonstone to get all the evil banners. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful in your journey to collect all of the banners. If you enjoyed, why not leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new. Again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.